The cliffs at West Runton, not far from Cromer, it was at the foot of these cliffs that Martin Warren dug out the rhino skull. Originally found by a friend who had to go away on holiday, Martin excavated two jaw bones and then put them in plaster of Paris to preserve them. As soon as he saw them, he knew exactly what they were. Yes, the teeth of rhinoceros are quite distinctive and I've excavated them down here before myself, but as long ago as 1984 now, so they don't turn up every day. The skull is now under cover at Martin's home, encased in the deposits he found it in, and the plaster. We use the plaster coating to hold the whole block together, a bit like immobilising a, a leg when you've broken a leg and go to hospital and put your leg in plaster. The rhino was found very close to where the West Runton mammoth was discovered in 1990. Somewhere between half a million and two million years ago, West Runton was big game country. This is from 1898. Rhino jaws have been found before, but the experts at Norwich Castle Museum are keen to take a closer look at the latest find to see if it might tell them any more about early man. I mean, the other thing, that it could be a new species of rhino. We need to have a closer look at, at the teeth especially, really tell us what, what's what with these species and if it's a new one or one we've already seen. The cliffs at West Runton are gradually eroding and that's why these discoveries of prehistoric animals are taking place. It's too early to say how important the Runton rhino might be, but we'll know more when a full examination has taken place. Mike Liggins, BBC Look East, Norfolk.